Life is what connects us to our naturally evolving roots. But what differentiates us from all other species? So this is a 2016 Audi Sportback e-tron. Um, car is, um, we purchased the car in November 2016. Um, it gets about 13, 13 to 15 miles on a charge, which takes about two hours. Um, the, uh, the car is, it's got, it's limited in cargo space. It has um, low profile wheels that tend to have, um, you know, get all kinds of dings and, and scratches and even blowouts. Um, there's no, the, the, one of the issues with this car is that there's no spare tire. So every time you have a, a flat, you have to call a flatbed truck to tow you to the dealer um, to get the, the tire fixed, which is really an inconvenience and a lot of waste of time. Um, it drives nicely. It, it, it handles pretty nice. Um, I think it, it has, um, has a nice sound system. It's comfortable, but the car, you know, for the, for the money, the car is, is, it doesn't get, you know, it's not worth with all, with all the um, electronics that go into cr um, creating an electric car like this, it, it doesn't, it doesn't um, have enough uh, mileage on a charge to make it worth, worth owning this car, which is why Audi discontinued the car three years after they, they, they started built, uh, building them. Um, it, you can't compare a car like this to a, to a, a Tesla or a Chevy Bolt that you know, get to 200 to 400 miles on, on a charge. Um, you're, you're, the, you're the owner of the car and you, you drive it the most, so what do you like about the car and dislike? What do I like? Well, I'm short and the car is short, so it fits me well. Um, I feel comfortable. I can see around uh, all the windows. Sometimes when I'm driving a bigger car, I feel like the way the car is designed, it blocks my vision, um, but for me, this, this works really well. Uh, like you mentioned, it doesn't get a ton of um, charge, and so I can go to the supermarket, to the gym, to the school, and back, but by then, the charge is sort of run out. But it has all of the features I like and nothing I don't need. So from that respect, it, it works for me. Luckily, luckily, um, it, it has a gas engine as well. So when you run out of electricity after 15 miles, you can you can drive on gas, which is which you know a lot of the electric cars, full electric cars, don't have that. So that's a good plus. But if you're going to spend forty-eight thousand dollars on a car, I wouldn't suggest buying one of these. This is the charging right here. So this is this is the charging port for the Audi. Um, it's a standard charging um, port that is used on most North American uh, electric cars. Um, essentially, you just you plug you pull a car in, you plug it into the front of the car, and within two hours and twenty minutes, the car is charged fully. Um, Hein Edison gives a, a rebate on electricity if you charge um, between, uh, I think it's 12 midnight and 8 in the morning. So I have a timer on here so I can delay the time to charge it uh, by two hours, four hours, six hours, eight hours, depending on when I plug it in, um, so that it charges in the middle of the night. And um, in the summertime, if you don't charge the vehicle between um, I think it's four, 4 and 7 or 8 o'clock at night. Hello, this is a Fiat 500 electric. It is a 100% electric car. I have not had to stop for gas in years. Right now we're stopped in front of a charging station. I charge at work. I also charge at home using regular 110 volt electricity. Um, it has a range of about 100 miles. It's wonderful to drive. It's very quiet. It doesn't make any noise. And uh, not only have I not had to stop for gas in years, 
I haven't had to stop for an oil change. I haven't had to stop for a, a transmission flush. I haven't had to do really any maintenance on it because it doesn't have an engine. It has an electric motor. And this little electric motor charges anywhere that there is an electric plug. So I'm going to show you how to charge it. It's really quite simple. This is normally where people put in the gas. But instead of gas, just grab one of these. I've been told that these can survive a hurricane. Um, so it doesn't matter that it's wet. Even though it's electricity. Plug it in. And it goes. If you're a gearhead, you probably want to ta take a look under the hood. If I can figure out how to open it, I'll show you what's under the hood. Uh, there's a motor under here, but with electric cars, really the more important thing is the battery. So, uh, you know, those, those fluids, there's brake fluid there, and there's windshield washer fluid, and that's about it. Uh, the battery is underneath the car. Okay. Oh, this is nice. You feel the difference? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, the and did you want to go on the streets? We could if you'd like. <laughs> How long does the charge last for? The charge, I believe, on this one, it's up to 150 miles. Okay. And then on the SV Premium, I believe, it's 215. Uh, so you can just stay in the middle lane. Stay in the middle. Okay. And where do I go at the uh, You could just keep going straight, and then you're going to stay to the left. Okay. Other electric cars, if braking is a problem, so it's like it's very, you have to do it very, very softly, or the car just stops itself, you know. But here it's like a regular car, yeah, it's still like. Okay. Do I stay, you to, stay to the left? Okay. Take another left. Okay. After this left, stay in the middle lane. Okay. 